today is a very special kind of practice. I am not swimming alone, I'm swimming with a team, the Dallas Mustangs and um, the Gold Group. So I, the average age here is about a third of mine. Um, but these guys are like little energizer bunnies. So I'm hoping that, uh, that I, I don't get worked here because that's gonna be a little embarrassing. Uh, warm up, <laughs> I'm that guy that they're already like 400 into it. So I'm that swimmer that's um, just messing around on deck. So I gotta get going. I think I've got like another thousand of uh, warm-up to do, so here we go. Here we go. Alright, wrapping up warm-up. I got like four people in my lane. I haven't had four people in my lane since like high school. There's waves, circle swimming. I barely even remember how to circle swim. How many rounds? Two rounds? Two. Two rounds. Whoa, this is the set we're doing. Two rounds. It's already more yardage than we're doing a single workout. Hey, are you going first? Ooh, all right. Somebody race. Are you Are you gonna like crush this? Do I have to? Do I have to get after it? Oh, you're saving up, huh? Just like that, I'm down to one lane mate. Number one, here we go. good mornings in the weight room some really heavy box squats so just showing you right now that I don't edit this to make me look good I show it to y'all just just raw the good the bad the ugly I don't know if it's bad or ugly but it's something it's not good this is not a green day in the gym sitting out at least this first 200 of the second round maybe all three but uh, I'm gonna try I'm gonna give the old swimmer try that's all you can do. All right, at this point, I'm just in survival mode, trying to get through without pulling anything. We'll see. I think there's some dive sprints later. Stay tuned for that. Wait, was that, was that three? That was one. Oh, it was one E. I was really hoping I missed all three, man. Okay, two more when I'm in back swing. It. 
than 50. Rest all out. It's 25 low. That's pretty good. Of course, it's on a coach's watch, so you never know. But uh, I'm gonna roll with it. <laughs> that that turned today from ugly to okay. So lots to talk about. We'll talk about it after I warm down. Who that? That was something real special right there. Getting beat by, by middle schoolers is uh, not something I am ever gonna talk about again after this video. Nope, 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 nope. I got a lot of wound licking to do, ego rebuilding, but I am gonna be back. I'm gonna be back for those suckers with a vengeance on a day, on a day when I am ready to throw down on a set uh, like that. I am just gonna destroy all those 13 year olds. Um, but why was I there? Okay, that's that's probably what you're asking. Why the heck were you at a club swimming practice? You don't believe in that kind of thing. You think it's all garbage yardage. What were you doing? So let's let's just start with the that I don't believe in that stuff. It's all garbage yardage. I don't. Yardage is only garbage if you don't have a purpose behind it. The kind of training that I do can be garbage yardage if you don't do it the way it is supposed to be done. Really high intensity, great execution, and all that stuff. Same with this kind of training. If you do what unfortunately a lot of swimmers do, which is they show up and they just go hard, they go fast, but they don't really approach it with the maturity, the focus, the intensity that they have to have in order to make themselves uh, as, as good as possible at the end of the season, hit their potential, then yeah, it, it's not that yardage is not going to be as beneficial for you as if you approach it with a, you know, a real killer mindset. Um, and so just clarity on that. Um, but why was I there? Well, uh, I needed to do a flush recovery practice and we'll talk about what that means in just a second. Um, and I didn't want to do it on my own. Uh, I, I was <laughs> feeling kind of lonely. Um, but I just knew that it was going to go a lot better if I was with, if I was surrounded by people doing the same thing. And so uh, I called up Doug and I said, Hey, can I drop in? He's really great about letting me drop in, uh, you know, a few times a year when I'm feeling lonely. <laughs> and so that's why I showed up for that. And, and it's because I needed a flush recovery practice that I didn't want to do on my own. Um, flush recovery. That means that you are doing essentially the same amount of yardage, but with a very, very low intensity. My heart rate on that for most of the practice was in the 150s. Um, and it was basically rehabbing my muscles, as opposed to say a full recovery practice where you're just getting in or even skipping the day, but getting in and doing 600 to 1000 because you're so wrecked that you just need to keep your feel and that's it. Um, I was pretty wrecked. Uh, and it was really tempting to say, man, maybe I just do a few hundred and get out. But there's there's a way to tell when to do the, re the full recovery and when to do the flush recovery. So let's talk about that. We have all had those practices where we show up and we're thinking, this is not gonna be good. I've got nothing. How do you know what to do with that? Right? Well, that's where your journal comes into play and history can guide you. You can't go based off of memory. It is too spotty at best. It's going to mislead you. And so in my case, when I went into this practice, I knew I had, I had already looked back in my journal and, and seen entries that were almost identical to this one where it was hams and quads are about to pull, uh, triceps and lats are just burnt and I used that as a guide for today because in previous uh, phases where I have entered those, those kinds of comments, I did very similar training leading up to it, similar to this, so I knew I wasn't overtrained. And then after doing flush recovery workouts just like this one, I bounced back and I was just fine because it was part of the ups and downs of training. It wasn't me falling into a hole, which is a whole different conversation. And plus, you know, a week and a half into a three week cycle, that's just too early anyway to be thinking, okay, geez, I've overtrained. Although it can happen just like that. 
So you have to have your journal to guide you going forward. And that's what I did in this case. And hopefully it'll pan out like it has every other time that I've been in this situation. So those are my thoughts on where I'm at and how you might be able to use them for your benefit. I hope it has helped. Stay tuned. Next week, we've got our um, uh, footage from uh, my first meet and see how that goes. I'm swimming the 100 breast, the 200 breast, and the 100 fly. I know, crazy. Um, also, if you have liked this content, please like and subscribe, share it with your friends. We could always use more subscribers. Plus, as I talk about resistance bands more and more and more, I'm going to lose subscribers, so I need new ones to take their place. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Good luck with your swimming. Swim different. <laughs>